that felt great. <laughs> it did. It really felt good. Just, uh, you know, a lot of anticipation. Boy, I was miserable. Absolutely miserable. I mean, I gave up golf. I gave up hunting. I gave up working around the house. I was paying people to mow my lawn and shovel my sidewalk. And Nineteen ninety-five, I think, when uh, um, I actually uh, ruptured the disc or bulk, caused the disc to bulge, and so I, you know, I was riding on that sciatic nerve and, and giving me a lot of a lot of pain. I, I asked my uh, family physician to give me a referral um, to a surgeon, and uh, he referred me to Dr. Lennerson. And uh, I tell you, I, I was very at ease the minute I met him. Um, obviously, uh, knew exactly what he was talking about. Um, gave me the uh, the options of of uh, how they could perform the surgery. Well, for for other uh, traditional surgeries where we want to remove that disc and fuse the uh, spine, uh, it's frequently done making an, an abdominal incision, which. Uh, uh, does create a, a lot more pain initially and then also uh, a longer recovery. With this procedure we take advantage of a natural space between the, uh, the uh, abdominal cavity uh, where all the bowels are and the spine itself and that uh, we can navigate that really without disrupting much of anything, get to the spine and then do the work we need uh, all through an incision about an inch long which really speeds uh, recovery. In this procedure, even though we're working on the front of the spine, uh, the patient is on their stomach for the entire procedure, and through uh, the small incision down here uh, by the tailbone, we navigate up in front of the spine and uh, end up creating a channel through the front of the spine into that disc. And then just through a, a very small tube, end up uh, uh, initially putting our bone graft uh, into where that disc used to be and then uh, are able to pass uh, one of these uh, threaded rods uh, up through that area where the disc was to firmly fix those bones together. Uh, so that's what this looks like on an x-ray. Uh, the surgery was a, an absolute success. I mean I, I think I knew the minute I woke up and uh, I was only in the hospital for a couple days. I mean, I was up walking later the same day, I think. Uh, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't fit uh, everybody's problem. Uh, even if it looks like it uh, might be a good uh, procedure for a particular problem, you also have to consider the anatomy uh, and other factors uh, that relate more to safety of the procedure. So it, it really does need to be planned carefully and make sure that, uh, that all the different pieces fall into place to make it a uh, safe uh, and effective treatment. My last appointment with Dr. Lennerson, um, you know, he had seen the x-rays had shown the, the, the bone growth and, and everything and, and uh, basically told me I was pretty much good to, to try anything I wanted and, and I brought up the mention of golf and he said, well, I'm not going to tell you. No, he said, but the, the, the twisting, you know, um, is, is probably the most stressful thing. And, and uh, he told me it would be 9 to 12 months before the, the bone fully grew in and everything. And I thought, well, you know, I mean, I've basically given it up for two years. What's, what's a few more months? And uh, so I figured I would, uh, would wait. And so March 31st will be the anniversary of the surgery. So... Uh, April 1st, I will be on the course. Yeah, my farness was good, my torchness was off. <laughs> be able to to get out and do this and, and uh, you know I mean I played a lot of golf in the past so to be able to get back to that is really one of my main hobbies so oh, we got a good 
Turn, baby.